Oh, folks. All right. I am uh, attempting to do my best at becoming an ultra runner, which is running a long, long ways. In college, I ran the 10K and the 5K on the track and cross country. Did pretty well, pretty well. I don't exactly have that just like sweet speed. Uh, you know, like let's say sub 57 second 400 quarter speed. I don't quite have that in these legs, but I still, even though I'm an ultra runner, I want to keep my speed up. But here's the kicker. I have not been on a track for a speed workout in nine years since I left college, the University of Colorado in 2009. I have not been on the track for a speed workout. Now, I've done some fart licks and uh, well, that's about it. And then just like really high tempo, six minute pace, 20 mile runs, that type of thing. But I've never done an all, I haven't done an all out mile in a decade, basically a decade. So I'm excited, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna do one mile, four laps around the track as fast as I can, just to test the legs. Why am I doing this? To test the speed in my legs, which could be very minimal at this point. And this mile attempt is gonna be a strength effort rather than a speed effort. It's gonna be very much based on the, the strength in my legs and not necessarily the fast twitch muscles in my legs, which have basically gone dormant in the last, you know, 10 years. Let's see how we do. Gonna do maybe four strides, 100 meter strides, and then rock and roll, come on. I, uh, I failed to mention that my goal was to break five minutes. That was 4.52 for one mile, basically all out as fast as I could go in spikes on a track with no speed training. Yes, ultra runners out there, you can still be fast and it actually helps a lot if you're you know, competing for uh, age group uh, results, you know, top three in your age group and or uh, you know, overall winning. So I'm back. my goal was to break five, I did that. I almost thought I was going to break 450. I kind of glanced down with about 600 meters to go, and uh, I was like, oh boy, we're, we're doing all right here. So anyway, old man strength is still there. All right, going into the arena again tomorrow, going into the arena, going to get bloody, sweaty. Uh, I'm racing the USA 30K Trail Championships in Colorado Springs in the morning at 7 a.m. The gun goes off. Um, this is a 30K, which is 18 miles. It has 3,000 feet of vertical gain and loss. That's good. This potentially could be right up my alley. Could be. We'll see. We'll see. That's why you got to put on the shoes and hit that start button and go for it. The 50K last weekend with 12,000 feet of vertical eh, may not quite be in my wheelhouse. So, tomorrow... I'm racing Joe Gray, who has beaten me twice in the last 12 months at the Pikes Peak Ascent. He got first at the GoPro 10K Mountain Games about six weeks ago. He got first. I got second. I got third at Pikes Peak. Actually, the uh, trophy's right there. And then what's kind of really exciting is that my old teammate, Andy Wacker, who is an incredibly fast runner and has transitioned to the trails as well, he's racing. So my old teammate from the University of Colorado, we're going to be duking it out just like we were, you know, doing intervals up on the track, Potts Field in Boulder, Colorado. So it's all kind of coming full circle. It's going to be fun, but uh, I'm going to bed. It's Friday night. We're calling it. The family's going down, even though it's like 7 p.m. That's how we roll around here so that we can wake up early and go... Have some fun on the course. All right, folks. Uh, oh, question of the day. What's your mile PR? I totally forgot. Question of the day. What's your mile PR? Comment below. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna stop. Come back tomorrow, see how I did. And um, yeah, love you guys. Love you guys. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other.